Hey guys, uh, I've got a brand new set of tools for you guys. Uh, this is, they're called the, uh, the Poly Tools, probably not the most uh, original name, but uh, uh, absolutely amazing uh, for uh, just a, uh, more precise modeling. So um, we've got the resizer, the precision cut, and the multi cut fill. And uh, I'll just quickly show you what the precision cut does. Okay, so I'm just going to make a poly cube. Uh, resize this so uh, you can see I can basically scale to give me an indication of how big this guy is but I'm just going to freeze my transforms to be difficult and so we've got this object here no real idea of how big it is uh, so that's one of the beauties of the resize over here I click refresh it'll tell me that this is currently uh, about five and a half units wide so basically um, what this does is it uses uh, bounding box information uh, which is quite cool for if you uh, ever want to know how big something is and so anyway going back to the precision cut so um, basically what this does is it allows you to cut an object uh, precisely so the way that it works is it works using um, a list so I'm just going to put um, say two millimeters and maybe four millimeters and as soon as I press enter you can see that it, it'll give me the total sum of whatever's in the list Okay, so um, I just wanted to add some cuts just down the le left hand side. So that's in my X uh, cutting plane. So I'm just going to get a cut object. And you can see we've got a couple of cuts in there. And one of the easiest ways to make sure that it's uh, cut it to the correct size is we can select that and we can select, actually I'll just select this guy. And I'm just going to click refresh on the, on the uh, resizer. And you can see that it's uh, telling me in the X for uh, 0.2 units wide, so that's basically the two mils that I'm after. Uh, if I select that and that, and click refresh again, you can see we're, uh, we're at uh, six millimeters. So our precision cuts uh, giving us some really nice cuts at the exact uh, uh, at the correct amount. So one of the really cool things about uh, using this tool here, and I'm just going to do if it'll allow me to. Yep. Okay, is that uh, say if I've put in these the 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and I've cut this object, perhaps I'm wanting to have those same cuts on the other side. So I can do that just by clicking on the reverse button over here, and that'll start cutting from the other side. Uh, if I wanted to do it from uh, in the uh, y axis, I can do that as well. And if I take reverse off, you can see how it'll cut it down the bottom. So it's, it's a real fast way of just rolling up an object, you know, getting like, in this case, if, um, if I want to own some sort of border maybe, you know, I've, I've uh, really quickly and accurately cut it up. So I could say maybe select these guys and that and that and this, oops, and maybe just extrude that out. And the cool thing is I know that these, yeah, this is obviously four millimeters wide, so it's a nice fast way of creating a border or, yeah, a really, really nice way of uh, just rolling up an object. Uh, one of the other cool things that uh, um, using the precision cut can do is that if you have an object like so and perhaps I'm wanting to add some cuts but add them on an the angle so maybe it's, it's a 10 degree angle and go uh, put 10 degrees in here go cut Oops. the cut and you can see we've got this uh, nice 10 degree angle that's going, going straight across the object and then say if I wanted to um, actually I'll just undo that Let's we'll do it from the X. So there's our 10 degree angle. So that's all quite cool. And you can see yeah, what it's done is that it's gone two mils in. So refresh there. You can see we've got our, we've got our two units for that uh, edge. And it's uh, out of the lines. Now you may actually want the, uh, the, the angled cuts to be coming from maybe the top. So you can do that just by clicking on this angle up here. So I'll put that 0 0.2 back in and 0 0.4 and I'm just going to put uh, negative 10 degrees and so if I go cut now you can see we're getting the exact opposite of uh, what we've got down at the bottom and it's going straight down so so this here is just like a little toggle just so instead of uh, applying the angle from one direction it, it'll reverse that okay so really handy uh, if, especially if you're needing uh, angled cuts in your object so it's just a uh, Another way of adding to the precision of it all. Okay, so uh, one of the other really cool things when using the resizer is, say, if I've selected this here, 
and let's go refresh and see that's one unit so that's all cool and I can quickly put this to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and if I click uh, resize here you can see that it's just going to resize to the middle but one of the cool things I can do is, is I can actually use um, different pivot points I can use either the object or the center of the whatever selected or I could actually use the manipulator so if I click on that and I snap to maybe that point there and I click resize it's going to resize that to um, 5 mils and if I select that face you can see that that, that face is obviously 5 mils uh, squared so uh, really quite cool and once again so if I'm wanting uh, this face here to be maybe 2 centimeters going uh, back in Z I can uh, bring up my manipulator, put a pivot point there, and I'm just going to go in Z, and I'll go two units. And if we go resize, you can see we just uh, created a face that's uh, two units uh, long. So, really qu quick way of just uh, measuring up an object or resizing it to whatever size that you need it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that off. And now I'm just going to move into a slightly more practical way, uh, useful for uh, or how I use this tool. Uh, more often than not, so I'm going to bring up an image pane, and on this image, I've uh, I've measured up this bottle. Um, generally, the way that it, uh, my uh, the way that I work is I'll get an actual prop or uh, an object, uh, like a physical version of it, and um, I'll measure it up, and I'll use a tool like this to um, accurately measure it or rule it out for me. So I'll show you how that all works. Okay, so I'm just going to create a cylinder. And we can see that this total size is uh, 216 mils high. So I'm working in centimeters. So, okay, let's go to 21.6 for height. And it's going to bring up the Dark Arts tools and just ground snap that guy. Okay, so uh, the other thing, if we look at the actual uh, width of the subject, you can see the total width is 76 mils. So if we go to the radius and put in half of that, so 3.8. And let's just get our front view, see if we're matching up. And yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so one of the ways that we can use the precision cut, as you can see we've got all these measurements so it's going up along the side of it. So I'll start putting those measurements in. These are basically just like uh, places that I've marked as like important, you know, like where, where I want actual cuts. Um, as, as the, um, the detail changes sort of thing. So I can uh, take all these measurements here and throw that into the precision cut. So we've got uh, 1.55, uh, 8 .9, 2 .7, 3 .15, 2 .35, uh, 0 0.9, 2.7, 3.15, 0.5, 1.3, 0.65, 0 0.5. And so as I press enter, if you look just over here, you see that will give us the total sum. So we're getting 21.6 centimeters. So that's that's all matching up with uh, what we've got here. So that's cool. And I'm going to want these cuts to be going up on the Y axis. So I'm going to click on the Y uh, cutting plane and it's going to go cut. And let's just try that again. I have the actual um, the input object selected, so um, obviously it couldn't cut. So with uh, the selected now, let's go cut. And you can see that uh, we're matching up with uh, our measurements quite well. So that, that's that's really cool. Okay, so from this point, it's just a matter of just uh, taking the width of, of this bottle in the various uh, sections. Okay, so we know this place here is 74 mils wide. So I can go to the resizer, click refresh, and you can see. Uh, the resize is telling us that it's currently 76 mils wide, which is correct. We actually want that to be 74. Oops, so I think it's 7.4, 7.4, and I'm just going to use the center of, of uh, my selection as the pivot point and get resize. You can see that's uh, resized quite nicely. Uh, the next point we've got uh, 40 mils. So I'll stick this these edges here, and I'm just going to go four. Four centimeters there, and click resize. So that's all cool. And over here, we've got uh, 35 mils. So let's go 3.5. 
26.5 and resize and then up here on 26.5 so this is pretty much how I'll work just to um, roll up an object uh, quite nice and accurately and then we can just go resize uh, that's, and it's, it's always been one of the things that, that's bothered me with Maya just the, uh, the fact that it's, it's always felt quite uh, inaccurate when working so th this tool here just takes that away and makes it a lot easier to work with Okay, and then we've got uh, 29 up here, so 2.95, and 2.95, and we get to resize, and then up here we're at uh, 24 mils, so if I click that, and uh, get 2.4, 2.4, and click resize, and it's time to do that quickly. Uh, let's click refresh. Okay, let's go 2.4, 2.4, and click resize. And that's all looking good, except for this extra cut, which I should have added at the top. So that would have been the last cut, just adding an extra, an extra edge onto here. So I'm just going to delete that off. Okay, so as you can see, quite quickly we've uh, accurately measured up our bottle. Got all the, the key uh, points in. And uh, yeah, she's looking good. Okay, so well, the other things you can do is if you wanted to just add a quick cut the center of, an, of uh, let's say a set of faces, you can just get Y there, get center, and get cut. And maybe this over here, maybe I know that this should just be the 74 mils, so I'm just going to click refresh, do that 7.4, 7.4, and just click resize. Okay, now once again using the precision cuts, you know, like. You can see how, if you look at this, the shape in the background, it's kind of a bit of a, um, a beveled edge. So say if I know that the bevel starts two mils up and two mils down, I can select these faces. Or I can just have the actual whole object in this case selected. And let's go uh, 0 0.2 mils. Okay, it's in the Y, and get cut. And so that's added that in. And then just over here, I can uh, also do a cut. Now if I go cut, you'll see it'll cut at the bottom to start off with. I obviously don't want that, I want my cut to be up here. So I can just click on the reverse button and add that cut. And once again, you know, it was working absolutely accurately, eh? which is just amazing. Okay, so I'm going to select this edge and this edge. Click refresh on that, and it's currently 74 mils. So I want that to be uh, 76, since that's the widest part of the bottle. 76. And I'm just going to go resize. And click on that. 7.6 and 7.6 and scary size. Okay, so we've got a nice little bevel going on which matches up. And from here, it's pretty much just uh, I, I can pretty much just use a standard sort of workflow. And then, you know, cut in there. Oops. Okay, and cuts. Add another subdivision. And I can pretty much just work as you, as you usually work, sort of thing. Oops. Select those, resize that, and to match up. But you quite quite often, I'd actually probably measure this sort of thing, or I'd have quite good photos to work from. But um, yeah, it's just a it's a really nice way of working. And say with this top here, maybe I know that the uh, so so I get extrude, and I could probably use the extrude to resize it. But say I know that this is supposed to be. So what we got currently? We've got 2.4. Maybe this here I know is supposed to be two centimeters uh, for the diameter. So we get two, two, and let's click resize and start extruding down. So yeah, it's 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 an absolutely brilliant way of working, and just just the fact that you can work so accurately. So from here, it's really just adding in yeah either bevels or your creases, however you decide to work. I'll set a little bevel in there. Two. Uh, what else we got? Get another bevel over here. I'll set two. A slightly tighter fraction. Oops. Two there. Okay. And the three is pretty much just continuing on the standard sort of practice. As you can see, our, our bottles uh, starting to match up quite nicely. 
and yeah, you can pretty much just carry on from there. Anyway, that's that, that's uh, the precision cut and the resizer. Uh, the model you cut, I'll show you at a different stage. But uh, yeah, I'll check it out, guys, and have fun. See you.